In the previous section, we learned how can we create a simple Playwright script to launch a browser, open a new page, visit a website, locate a button, and click the same. In this section, we'll learn more about these locators and all the different ways Playwright has to offer to select web elements. Now, previously, we learned about the get by role selector and what it does is allows us to select elements based on their role and the name attached to the same. We selected a link element with the name of docs. Now, if we would like, we can select others as well. That is, we can select a link element with the get started text on it. So we can just go ahead and run our script. So pi app.py. Now you will see I use the pi command instead of Python because I have ADS dead. You can do that as well. But let's just go ahead and run the app and you will see that it clicks on the get started button and goes inside of the intro. Now, similarly, we can virtually select any element with the role of a link and whatever names assigned to it. But there's one problem here. That is, if we'd like to select another button, let's say a link element or let's say a button element with the name of sign up, we'd have to go ahead and run the script again, which will launch the browser, open the page, visit the website, and then do this thing. And then if you'd like to test another locator, let's say a button with, let's say, log out, then we'll have to again run the script and do things repeatedly. So here, instead of doing things repeatedly, we can use Playwright in Python's interactive mode, that is Repel. So let's go ahead and see how can we do this. So go ahead and minimize your IDE and open your terminal. Now I'll go ahead and pin the terminal to the right and I'll go ahead and activate the virtual environments as well. And now inside of the virtual environment, if I type the Python command and hit enter, you will see a REPL will be started. That is, if you type any Python code that is, let's say, simple enough, 10 plus 20, hit enter, it gets executed, and we get the result that is 30 in this case. You may not get the code highlighting and other stuff which I have configured specially, but the main point is, REPL allows you to perform things line by line that is in an interactive mode. Similarly, we can execute Playwright code, that is, we will launch a browser once and then execute our locators one after the other to test the same. So let's go ahead and do just that. First of all, we'll go ahead and import the Playwright API, which we have done before as well. So from Playwright Sync API, we'll import the Sync Playwright. Now, what we need to do is start the playwright. So before we just use the with context manager, but because these things were to be executed in a file, we didn't start it ourselves. But when using the interactive mode, we have to do it ourselves manually. That is, we'll create a playwright instance by instantiating sync playwright and calling the start method on the same. Hit enter, it will be created. Now we can use Playwright to do whatever we did before. That is, if we want to launch the Chromium browser, we'll just use the same things and make sure that it's headless. So yes, headless is false. And slow-mo, I'll make it 100 times slower. And just store everything in a browser variable, browser, B-R-O-W, mistake there. Okay, so now we have our browser and if we want, we can inspect it as well. Let's see what we get. So if I just type the browser variable, hit enter, you can see we get a nicely formatted image. That is, it is a type of browser, 
the type is this, like a browser type, name is Chromium, executable path is this, the Playwright version here, and the version is this, cool. So a little bit of information of our browser. But the main thing is creating a new page and doing things interactively. So let's just create a new page. We'll simply call the new page method. You can see we get the headless mode. So I'll go ahead and minimize it accordingly. Now we'll have to visit a page. You can see currently it's blank. So page, go to, we'll just visit the playwrights page. So playwright.dev slash python. You can see it goes there and now we can see the playwrights page. And now let's say we want to just get this get started button. So we can just do something like page dot get by role. And the role is a link element. And then the name of that element is get space started make sure it is the same as this you can see it is in capital letters but we can skip that as well but to be precise let's do that so get started now if i go ahead and store it in a let's say button variable and hit enter everything executes if i inspect the button variable you will see it is a locator object which has this place or look you can say the selector for this specific element now to see whether we have whether or not we have selected it we can just use the element and call the highlight method on it like this if i execute it you can see our get started element is highlighted right here so let's just go ahead and click it you will see it visits the installation page. Now we can just do whatever we want. So the point is we can use the REPL, that is the interactive mode to test our locators and code interactively or just as we write. In the coming lessons, we'll use the same technique to test our locators. Now, one last thing before we end this lesson is when we are done with testing things, we have to quit our interactive session. To do that, what we need to do is first of all, close the browser. So use the browser instance, call the close method. You will see the browser gets closed. And then in our with context manager, it automatically stopped the playwright instance but because we have started it manually, we have to stop it manually as well. So use the playwright instance, call the stop method, and now it's totally stopped. So we can just exit out of the session and just do whatever we want. So that's how you create a interactive session with playwright.